Hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, 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 hello on Zoom webinar and hello on Facebook Live. It's so nice to be here with you today. Hello, longtime friends and new friends. I'm Marlise Carlin, if we haven't met before. I'm a mental health activist. Why do I say that? Because I have been actively communicating to people the discoveries that I found in my own search for well being. Because what I discovered in 15 years of research and 25 years of study was so remarkable about the power that we each have, about this inner intelligence that is untapped, that I really couldn't do anything except try to share it with all of you. So today in our Mind Hacks, our focus is going to be on from anger to ah. Uh, because <laughs> my guess is there's a lot of people right now feeling that anger from day to day. So it's a, a way that we really need to look at that and work with it, right? Because it's uncomfortable being angry. And for the most part, it doesn't really uh, make us very resourceful. So again, I think Facebook came in a little bit late. So I want to say again, hello, everybody on Facebook. It's nice to be with you. And uh, today we're going to have two live meditations. We're going to be doing one very soon. An um, SOS method was developed to have these very special formula meditations. So you're going to get a chance to experience that. And we'll be doing mind hacks. What's a mind hack? It's tools. It's meditations, it's programs, it's different things that we can do to deal with the everyday. Because here we are in the midst of probably one of the most challenging times most people have ever had to go through. And how do we deal with it? In a way that we can end up having a win from it, right? And that I think I was talking about that in the last program, how actually some of the most challenging times in my life brought me the greatest insights and brought me the knowledge of things that have supported me and guided me throughout my entire life. So before we go deeper into all of that, what I wanted to do is just take a moment and check in with everybody. How are you doing out there? <laughs> what is going on? Give me a one word of what you're experiencing in your life right now. What are you going through? Stressed? Got that. Laid off. Oh, that's, that adds the stress to the finances and everything, doesn't it? Big time. Yeah. What else? Worried. Yeah. Any parents out there dealing with any overwhelm with kids? Trying to be the best parent ever and have, yeah, too much. <laughs> Too much things going on with kids, right? Wow. Too much. Yeah. How do we deal with this many things all at the same time? How do we turn this into a win? So uh, we're going to go into that. And what I want to let you all know is, um, as we go into this one minute, we're gonna do a one minute sound meditation, okay? And this is a very different one. This one is called I Believe. And I Believe goes into the category of the meditations that activate our higher mind potential because we all have this amazing uh, potential within our mind, within our bodies to really make it through even the toughest situations. But again, it's lying there dormant until we open it up and open it up and open it up again and again so we can keep moving into living all the time with that higher level of intelligence. So what SOS sound meditations do is they activate that place. Now you could have been here with me for years and you're coming back again because it's like cleaning house. We do it once, it doesn't stop. Yes, it's a beautiful home, but now we have to keep cleaning it and, and uh, reconnecting to that higher mind potential, right? It only makes sense. 
we wouldn't stop brushing our teeth. <laughs> Why would we stop reconnecting to that potential within and taking it to higher and higher levels of intelligence within ourselves? So what I want to tell all of you who are new, this is not a guided meditation. SOS method is not guided meditations. They are deeply immersive meditations with sound, music, tones, words, and white space. And I believe comes from a category that you would literally do while you're going out taking a walk. So uh, while I invite you this time, close your eyes so you can just immerse yourself in the words. Don't worry, your mind doesn't have to become still. Just feel what's going on within you as you listen to these words. So let's begin that now. I believe in the power of an inspired mind to guide each step I take. I believe in the power of a passionate heart to help me become fully awake. To all that I need to really succeed. To all that I dream and all that I know is possible. when I say it is. I believe that anything is possible when I say it is. Mm. So take that experience Feel how it feels in your body in this moment. Take another deep breath. And then open your eyes and bring that experience to you back into the space where you are. So tell me how you're feeling. What did you feel in that moment? Some of you, I'm sure, felt oh, some relief. Yeah, that's good. Well, what else? Felt like anxiety went down instantly. Mm, nice experience. Feels light, feels light, feels good to feel lighter. Because <laughs> when we're angry, it is heavy, isn't it? So where's everybody here from today? I see we have some people from India. We have some people from across the United States. California, hi, California. You've been going through it too with the isolation. Minnesota, hi, Minnesota. I love Minnesota. <laughs> Wonderful. Toronto. Oh, welcome, Toronto. Yeah. It's good to be with all of you. This is our hall, our global hall. And it's great to experience how close we are to each other in this global world today. Isn't it amazing how we all could be going through such similar experiences from country to country to country? I don't think people have ever understood that. And I know when I traveled from country to country, I really got how close we are. That even if you're on the plains of Africa, you have some of the same concerns that people do in London. You know, moms, dads, we all have the same concerns all over the world, wanting our children to be happy, healthy, you know? So, for those of you who also had just said, oops, had just um, said that you were just laid off from work, right? Um, that's a scary feeling, isn't it? So maybe when you're in that state, trying to move up the spiral of your emotion to, I believe in the power 
of an inspired mind might be almost too much of a jump. So that's okay. Just know that that's who you are and little by little you can get there. And even if you just got some relief from it, that's perfect, right? So here's what I want you to know. Let's, let's jump back into the anger, right? Because this mind hack program today is all about anger and how we're going from anger to awe. So let's talk about where anger comes from. Anger actually usually comes from fear. At the base of anger is fear. Something's changing and I don't like it. And boy, are we living at a time where that can come up every single day and several times a day, right? Because things are changing. We're not, quote, in control. Although we do have control over our mind. But it doesn't feel like it when our body gets over and our mind is filled with thoughts of what am I going to do? Where's the money going to come from? How am I going to contain these kids? I'm so stressed you know, on and on and on. That's, that's difficult. So how do we begin moving back up the spiral? And what I want to tell you now is something about understanding that when your body starts, when you get in fear, when you get in anger, you can feel it in your body, can't you? You can feel it like your stomach is churning. You feel like you're losing control. Your mind starts feeling fuzzy. You just can't think very well. And everything is shooting out danger danger you know it's not working what you have to do is take a pause take a pause step away don't stay in the situation where things are spiraling down when you do that they will spiral down more and more so no matter where you are even if you're in the middle of a heated discussion you might say i need a pause we can, we can pick this up again later, but I need a pause because you're not being at your most resourceful. So let's talk about the different things you can do during a pause. A pause is dance. <laughs> Turn on music that you love and rock out because that, that's physically what your body wants to do. It wants to, get, it wants to get that energetic, nervous feeling out of the body. Dance is one. Run. Run. Take a run. If you can't go outside right now, take a run up and down stairs. Anything you can do, just start doing something very physical. Dance, run. Here's another one. Yell. But not at your kids, not at your spouse, not at your friends. Yell into a pillow or go into a room by yourself. Rah! And just let it out. That's another physical sensation because as you begin releasing it, oh my gosh. You can just feel that relief coming over you. It, you actually could take it to the point where you start laughing. So yell, get it out. And then if you can, take a walk, okay? You could take a walk with an SOS meditation that is one from this category, I believe, or say yes. So it starts moving that spiral back up. For those of you who are deeply challenged financially right now, which is the majority of people, Things are going to change. What could be created in this moment? I don't know. Whether it's a loan, whether it's ideas for a new career, whether it's another way to make money that you hadn't thought of. There's a million answers, at least five of them. <laughs> That's what I call the possibility of five. Um, it's one of the tools in SOS. So. There are answers, but you have to connect to that higher mind potential inside yourself to find them. And when you're angry, you, you can't. So just remember, in the course of a day, you could go up and down and up and down and up and down that fear and anger and back into higher mind connection. And you just want to get into that higher mind connection so that you get used to doing it more and more and more often. Does that make sense? Because the more you're there, it feels good being there. And then when you see those angry thoughts coming in, you'll be able to push them away and say, no, I want to stay here. And then you'll take the time that you need to go into the meditation that connects you to your higher mind where you get better answers of what to do. Okay? So I want to share a story with you. 
about a young woman. Her name was Anna. And Anna came to find SOS because physically her was falling apart. She was a mess. But she'd never meditated before. She'd never tried SOS. She didn't know what it would be like, and she was doubtful anything could help her. But as she began doing it, things began changing in her life quite radically, actually. Week after week, she went from being this super angry person, very angry, had angry friends, was angry with her parents. She was angry at all of life. And I would say within a month's time, and actually it happened week after week because she was doing the practices week after week and doing the programs. And so every week we'd see a little change and then we'd see another one. And one time she came in and she even said, I'm so happy. I don't even know why. That's not a good feeling. And then what happened is she made a decision to go back to school and she went to school and she became a chef. And then from that, she ended up getting uh, work in Los Angeles, working for a top celebrity. And then after that, she quit that and she went off and did something else. So the flexibility and the talents that you have are extraordinary, but you have to tap into them. And I loved what she said. She wrote us a letter and she said, you know, when I look at pictures of myself and images of myself back then, and I see what I wrote, I'm not the same person. And it's not that I'm just a changed person. I'm an evolved person. And that's what we all want to do. We want to involve more and more for ourselves, for our kids, into who we are as we connect more to that higher mind potential, that higher mind body potential. So let's take that time now. I want to hear from you. What questions do you have and in what ways can I help you? Mm. I also want to say on Facebook, if you weren't able to hear the meditation very well, um, please join in the webinar next time because the sound is perfect. So I saw part of something. How do I start? Uh oh, I didn't see the rest of the message. <laughs> How do I start? Best way to start with anxiety what's the best way to start with anxiety was it was that the question if i have anxiety what's the best way to get started best meditation to use so when you come on to the app okay and it's uh you can come on for free so anybody can do it doesn't cost you anything you have seven free days to do it come on to the app and as you do there's curated programs and meditations waiting for you and it will guide you for what to do. So there's an entire program on stress. And then as you, you can go directly into the meditations if you want and look for the ones that are for emergency. Like let's say it's emergency. Go right into the emergency meditations and begin with those. But what I wanna invite you to do is do the programs because every single program gives you good information and then rolls you into a meditation. And then what you want to do is the meditations, you can do a five minute or a minute and you feel where you're at. So I suggest doing it once a day. I like to do it in the morning to clear the slate. Many people uh, like to do it in the middle of the work day because it also helps focus back on your priorities and people who have high, high anxiety, you might want to do several a day. And don't feel bad about that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's only going to make you feel better and better and better. And depending on your level of stress, you know, it, it could take time. You will feel an instant relief. You will. But then it'll also take time to where it'll build up and start rewiring those pathways in the brain to start shooting off more of all the hormones that bring us greater happiness, that make us feel more joyful. So do it as often as you like and try the different categories. Don't get stuck on one. Yes, do one for anxiety. Do breathe, just breathe. Count down to peace. But then jump around. 
Are you someone who would like to hear more empowering words? Because your mind fills up with thoughts that seem very negative. Then go to the empowering word category. And remember, you can do SOS meditations laying down or taking a walk. It's a whole variety. How do I have more patience with kids? Oh, I know that's a hard one, isn't it? Well, there is a child program, by the way, uh, and a guide for parents. So I would suggest beginning with that as well, because we've done programs with children. And believe me, it, it shifts the trajectory of their lives. It's like putting in good programming <laughs> instead of the sometimes negative programming that society pours in. And the fear that may be coming from watching the news, if they're seeing any of it, or why they can't see their friends, and all the other concerns. And believe me, what you project, energetically, they feel. So you want to be honest. You want to be authentic. Doesn't mean you're going to tell them all your fears. But you're going to sit them down and say, this is a different time we're going through. But we're going to do it together. And I want to help you. And I want you to help me. Because you're amazing. <laughs> and let's support each other. You know, there's nothing greater than some, someone feeling they can help you. Everybody wants to help. That's kind of like something ingrained in us. So you might come up with that. Uh, sitting down and having that kind of a talk. And then what I hear from a lot of parents is, they love doing the meditations together because it calms everybody down. And if they're just really getting out of touch and out of control, you might have to give them a pause either in their own room and have them play one by themselves. And watch what happens. It'll shift the mindset. It'll shift the mindset every time. So I would start with that and then you'll get the inspiration of what else is needed. Maybe you'll be guided to another book that is specifically for children and ways to deal with it during COVID. You know, you'll, there's any number of things you could be guided to, but I would include the meditations and try the happy kids program or the happy teens or the um, empowered teens. There's a great program for teens and depending on their age, for the most part, they can do that one on their own. So, and then I will say, you know, everyone meditate with something that lights up your world, right? Because you should feel it and you should know that it is lighting up your world. So whether it's SOS method or another meditation technique, find the one that works for you because that will really help to guide you from that anger to awe. Ah. And then use the practical tools. Take a pause, take a run, dance, <laughs> yell into a pillow take a walk and listen to SOS, right? Take a pause, take a run, dance, take a walk, yell into a pillow. Those will all help you in the coming days. So is there anything urgent right now that another, that I could help you with? How to focus, yes, how to focus. Focus, it's so fascinating, isn't it? How things can get all jumbled and we just don't know where to put our mind because there's just too many things to do. You know, I talked about this in a program recently. I would invite you to go back and go to YouTube and look at that program because it's on focus and productivity. And with focus and productivity, what you'll find is there are meditations to help you focus. And there are tips, mind hacks on finding your priority every day. Now, make a list of the things you know you have to get done and then make sure you highlight the priorities of the day. And then know that you're not going to finish your list. <laughs> it's always like that. You'll probably have way too many. 
but then you move them over to the next day. And then you choose the priorities again, because you know what can happen? Sometimes those priorities aren't priorities anymore. And sometimes things on that long list end up being taken care of by someone else and you don't have to deal with it. So look at what is most important of how to focus and how to find your priority and it will help guide you every single day. Now, what I want to invite you to do is we have this week, the entire week, we're going to go into anger to awe and we're going to hit different levels of it. We're going to go deeper, deeper, deeper. Or if you like to think of it like this, we're going to go higher, higher, higher. And we're going to go into more of the mind hacks that really get us out of those states of anger and keep moving us up the spiral that emotional spiral. So believe me, no matter how you're feeling today, you're going to feel different this afternoon. And in the coming days, you're going to feel it and join us again on Thursday and again on Saturday and watch that spiral keep moving up, moving up, moving up. And please give a comment in Facebook or, you know, send it to us at SOS method. Hello at SOS method.co and let us know what you're feeling. Let us know if you have a question that didn't get answered because I'll try to bring it into the next webinar. Okay. So let's take that moment now and let's do one more I believe and let's tap into that experience now. I believe in the power of an inspired mind to guide each step I take. I believe in the power of a passionate heart to help me become fully awake. To all that I need to really succeed. To all that I dream and all that I know is possible. I believe that anything is possible when I say it is. I believe that anything is possible when I say it is. Hmm. Can you feel the spiral moving up? <laughs> yes little by little yeah so much better it does it takes us there little by little by little and sometimes very rapidly actually because we you know if you go and watch some of the videos of what happens to people sometimes when you're ready because it's individual for each of us but really this is how we can support ourselves and getting more and more into a balanced state of mind and helping ourselves through this time. I also want to invite all of you, if you know anyone who's a healthcare professional, please invite them to go to the website and sign up. We have a free subscription for all healthcare professionals to support them. And you know what? Maybe they only get five minutes on their work shifts to like release and let go and get back into uh, an inspired state of mind or at the very least a focused state of mind for the work that they're here to do. And we want to help them and say thank you to everybody doing this work. So please invite your friends who are in this to come and join us and really keep, um, let's keep our world coming together and let's find a way to make the best out of this time. We can do it together. So I look forward to seeing you on Thursday at nine Pacific time. And again, I want you to know I am sending you so much love. Bye for now.